Hi everybody, it's me. I j literally just got home from work and had to set up my camera up as fast as I can. Uh, I got a new package, which is right here. So, I am excited to get this out of the box if it works properly. I do hope it does. Because uh, I did pay a little bit of a top dollar for this. Though, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if this thing was being sold, uh, it will probably be sold a little bit more than what I paid for this. This is an engine I've always wanted, and I don't know why I haven't gotten one. I guess I was just too lazy, but I finally got one. So, yeah. Let me adjust the camera, and I will get this open for you. Alright, there it is. And I got my trusty pocket knife out. So, um... After I purchased the Western Pacific GS64, uh, it's really making me uh, itching for a daylight now. And um, eventually I bit the bullet and I bought one. The box does look pretty rough. Alright. So this thing has been delayed only just slightly uh, due to the severe weather that. Uh, we've been having for the past uh, couple weeks and there it is I don't know if you guys can see it in there it's right there alright, tucked in each corner I like that wrap in bubble wrap, definitely love that there we go sorry if you can't see it too well oh man Wow, there it is. See if I can. Now let me get that in focus real quick. All right, I got it pointed away from the box for right now. And there it is. God, this is awesome. I'm finally able to own a GS4. I've been wanting one for years, but uh, just never got around to buying one. I don't know why. I guess I'm just lazy. But there is a GS4. Alright, let's get this out of the box. Mr. Western Pacific GS64, you are about to meet your counterpart. The only difference is the headlamp. So, um, this thing does have DCC on board. The box is pretty rough too, but I guess it's due to its age. So, I do have DCC hooked up to my track, but um, it does not mean that it'll be programmed to uh, the numbers on the um, my Bachman controller. So if it's not programmed to any of that, uh, I will have to make it DC. So yeah, hopefully it comes with some dummy uh, clips that I can put in the tender. If not, I got some from the GS64, but no big deal. <sighs> Man, this thing's tough to get out. All right. Alright, I hope you guys saw that, because I can't see the viewfinder. Yeah, you can see it just fine. All right, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit, and we will get this thing out. Alright, this thing is huge, so it might not have been shot. Moment of truth! There we go. Okay. Whoa, dude. Jesus, look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Sorry for the crappy camera work, but can't help it. Dude. This is awesome. I am loving this. Alright, now let's get the tender out. Wow. Oh, sorry. This is awesome. This is literally awesome. Alright. Now let's put this thing together. Well, I'm going to put it together off camera. And then I'm going to put it on the track. So I'll be right back. Well then, that was a little bit easier than I expected. I guess because the wires of the tender were literally pointing upwards. I don't know if that's a good thing, but 
it certainly helped, is all I can say. Alright, so this thing is DCC fitted, as I said in the box. Let me get this in focus for you. Alright, there we go. This thing already looks awesome. <laughs> I'm loving this. So yeah, like I said, this thing is DCC fitted. So if it doesn't have the default address as per the Bachman DCC controller, then I will have to uh, put the dummy chips in it. It does come with dummy clips, thank God. Um, so yeah, let's see if it does anything. All right, it's not making that noise. Let's see if it's set to three. Oh. Oh wow, it's moving. It is actually moving. How about the lights work? Oh yes, the lights. They are, uh, they're yellow lights. So, yeah, they're yellow is what it looks like. Already. This thing is awesome. Alright. Well, what can I say? It works. I'm not sure how long this thing's been sitting in the box for. It probably needs just a little bit of a waking up. It's set at a lower speed right now. But, uh, yeah. Let's crank it up a bit. Maybe go faster. There we go. Dude, I'm already loving this. I really am. Now I gotta get some daylight coaches for this thing. Oh man. You ever had that regret that you've been wanting to buy an engine for a number of years, but you've never really bought it? If you get what I'm saying, um, I'm definitely feeling that kind of regret. Like seriously. I haven't wanted a GS4 for years. And I finally had the opportunity to get one. And I love it. It's all because of you. <laughs> it's because of that thing. <laughs> That's what made me want a GS4. Okay, I'm going to bring the daylight to a stop right here. Just right there. Alright, so I'm going to take the camera off and we're going to see how exact these two are. I'm pretty sure they're identical apart from the headlamps. Let's do it. Alright, so I am now up close at the two models. As you can see, the front minus the headlamp looks really identical. It sure does. Uh, the size of the boiler looks identical apart from the GS64 having the gray part right here. And the daylight is just uh, plain black minus this awesome red stripe. Let's go up to the roof. Yeah, the roof is the roof is literally the same. Bring the models side by side. Yeah, they're safety valves. If you bring them, if you line them up, just good enough. Yeah, everything is identical. It's crazy. The tender is identical too, so I think there's no point in showing that. The handrails, the uh, grab irons. Everything, just the front that's different. It is just the front, and that's it. I should also probably point out something that's really cool too. Uh, here's my Western Pacific GS64. Notice how the axles are plain, which is fine, you know, no complaints there. Whereas for the daylight, there are star axles. Hang on. There we go, there we go. Yep. There are stars on the axles, and I, and I thought that is so, so cool. I think my River Aussie Cap Forward has that, but yeah, this, this is just awesome. And it's even better when, they, uh, when the wheels are in motion, too. There it is going backwards. I love that. That is a really nice touch. Alright, before I wrap up this video, I thought I'd let the daylight pull something pretty cool. Now, bear in mind, I do not have any Southern Pacific daylight coaches yet. I could have it pull the Milwaukee Road coaches, but those have the horn hook couplings. Even if they're a similar color than this, uh, I just thought I'd let it pull the Palmaya, because in my opinion, it's probably the coolest train I have in my collection. So, I'm going to have the daylight pull those for now. 
until I get some daylight coaches for it. Now that is going to be something really good to have. But yeah, um, we'll turn the controller on, turn the lights on, because why not? Let's take it off for a spin. And I probably have to say, this is probably the most beautiful locomotive I have in my collection. No doubt on that. Just, you just can't take your eyes off it. It's just so beautiful. This is definitely one of those engines that's going to be a keeper. Definitely, for sure. Again, please forgive me for not having the proper daylight coaches, or the proper coaches for that matter. I just don't have any daylight ones yet. And as you probably bear in mind, the model I have at the moment is 4446, not 4449. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. I don't even, I don't even know if you guys noticed it, but just in case. I guess it may be certain that MTH probably made the best daylight, if not maybe Broadway Limited. But I'm happy with the Bachman one, I really am. So nice. Nice. So there you guys go. That is the Southern Pacific GS4 Daylight. I am really blown away that I finally have one in my collection. <laughs> Man, it's, this thing is just so awesome. I definitely should have bought one sooner. Especially when I had the chance, but I didn't. But yeah. The Daylight I've always wanted from this era of Bachman was the... Um, the rail fanning livery, I think that's the name of the livery, where it just had uh, Southern Pacific lines on top of the tender. I've always wanted that daylight, but I never bought one for some stupid reason. <laughs> but at least I got this, you know, I can't complain too much. So yeah, that is the unboxing of this beautiful locomotive. It's so fantastic. I, I really can't stop staring at it. It's just so cool. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Psst, by the way, I also just won another GS4. God. Well, I was going to end the video in there until I got a notification on my phone that I just won a brand new daylight. So, <laughs> except this one... Um, I still have the box for it. The daylight that I just now won is in this style of box. And this one, uh, and well, the one I won is actually 4449. This one is uh, the Niagara. If I can show the label there. There you go, you can just about see it says Niagara right there. I do still have Niagara. It's in there. You can just see it right there. So, yeah. I do still love that thing. I will, I will keep it for as long as I live. But um, the daylight that I just won, I've always wanted it in a box like this. I know they're not rely I know they're not uh, the best runners because of the split chassis design, but I do th I do believe that these are slightly better than Bachman Plus. I am a little bit nervous in buying Bachman Plus stuff because uh, they have plastic axles, and I'm sure these do too. But I well, I haven't had this one fail on me yet. Probably shouldn't say yet, otherwise I'll jinx it. But yeah. So, that is what I won, basically. I literally just got a notification saying I won it. So, expect an unboxing video soon. Alright, see you guys.